it's a time it's a time to it a six out of the ground what is that our doors so prepare yourself mentally to face the war right there are only 10 days left you should not get distracted you should focus on your study do previous year mcqs and stay away from the distraction and most important thing is that keep yourself motivated if you will get demotivated you will feel low and instead of going result positively it will come negative so make sure that you keep yourself motivated and just have a feeling that i am going to pass that will help you out right so let's see what to do and what not to do that will help you out tools do's what you need to do just focus on self study no more classes no more any sessions whatever you have read you have to revise that okay uh, there are so many online platforms giving uh, this and that that will not help you out okay if you are having a boring day or if you are not feeling to study that time you can use that videos that will help you out and that to use it from a responsible person there are so many videos of no use right good videos are there so choose wisely i will not say that they are bad but we don't have time to read each and everything and grasp it right so focus on your notes or whatever you have followed before uh, whether it is a uh, your tnd whether it is rapid revision or your class notes or online platform whatever you have followed you should revise that in that this last 10 days okay second thing is wake up at 6 am now you should wake up in the morning it is not the time that uh, you are going to study till 2 am in the midnight okay now you should sleep around 11 or 12 and try to wake up around 6 and 7 because on the exam day you have to go around you will leave your homes at 6 or 5:30 right so prepare yourself that way okay solve mcq at 9 am solve mcqs at 9 am reason is that your brain will get trained to solve the mcq at the exam time right so at least try to solve 15 20 mcqs half an hour one an hour around 9 am and please don't take breaks in the exam timing means around 9 to 12 and uh, 2 to i think 4 30 around this time you should not take breaks and try to survive on the water because in the exam hall you are going to get only water right there will be no tea there will be no coffee there will be no cigarettes so try to survive on only water right primary focus should be on the your notes right and this whenever you feel bored try to look at the images important tables or the papers that you have made that you are going to revise in the last days okay instead of going for lmrs uh, given by all the institute or uh, from the books also that will not help okay whatever you have already made that will be useful okay so try to use that that will be my advice for you i got so many question about this subject to be done first of all whatever you have done 7 8 20 or 15 subject you should read that you should read that whatever you have done nothing new is the funda 
ओके वॉट एवर यू हैव डन सेवन एट टेन सब्जेक्ट दैट यू शुड बी रिवाइजिंग इन दिस लास्ट सेवन डेज ओके एंड इन दैट ऑल्सो यू शुड रिवाइज टू सब्जेक्ट एवरी डे टू सब्जेक्ट एवरी डे इन द नाइट यू कैन लुक एट यूर इमेजेस यू कैन लुक लुक एट यूर इम्पॉर्टेंट टेबल्स ओके दैट विल बी हेल्पफुल स्टिल इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू राइट डाउन आई विल राइट डाउन इम नाउ यू शुड नॉट स्टडी ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स ओके यू शुड स्टडी सब्जेक्ट विच आर हाइल्ड हाइल्ड मीन्स द सब्जेक्ट विच विल गिव यू श्योर शॉर्ट मार्क्स दीज आर शॉर्ट सब्जेक्ट्स लेस टाइम कंज्यूमिंग राइट इट विल टेक टू थ्री आवर्स टू रिवाइज द सब्जेक्ट and they will give you sure short marks it should include radio ortho anesthesia fmt ortho is coming for around 10 marks in your exam it is written over there for 5 marks but question will be around 10 radio if you we'll read read it properly when you are going to solve the integrated or clinical questions in paper 2 specially radio will be for there around 10 to 15 marks right 15 images from radio is very common in every exam so you should look at the images for radiology you should look at the images for radiology anesthesia is for 5 marks and it is around 30 to 40 pages that will give you 5 out of 5 sometimes it goes for 7 so that will help you right fmt 10 mark fix it will come for 10 marks and to the point questions will be there to the point right so if you know fmt you can correct 10 out of 10 marks so you should study this subject in last this last 10 days i will add some more it 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 will include psm obviously it is for 30 marks again to the point questions right so you can correct all questions so you should study for psm then micro obg infection comes around 20 to 25 marks right if you know microbiology very well you can correct all the questions okay whether it is from paper 1 or paper 2 integrated microbiology will be there so so microbiology should be on your tips then comes obg obg is the one subject which is going to come in paper 2 right and questions are fixed they will not change much right there are limited topics and short notes among these three subject which are obg p uh, your medicine and surgery so you should know obg very well ent and of the ent of the 15 15 again paper 2 question uh paper 2 subjects so 30 plus 30 60 marks for i mean short short marks you can get it in the paper 2 then we come if you have studied pharma well and good if not at least you should know from anat or bike in the bike came also if you want me to highlight hot topic that will be amino acids and diseases from biochemistry then comes vitamins and minerals vitamins and minerals right biochemistry will give you short short marks okay so you should know it these are some subjects which i think you should focus on right now okay you can add it according to you but these are main subject that
that will make you pass so you should know it okay dharma also what you can do for radio and dharma if you don't know if you uh, don't know the theory part what you can do you can at least look at the image and you can answer the question so please if you haven't learned dharma also please look at the images that will help you out okay that will help you out then we come to how to solve paper see you have two parts 150 questions 150 minute paper first paper second 150 questions 150 minutes again every paper has three types of category questions one is easy second is moderate and third is hard so what you can do when you got a time instead of getting stuck on one question try to solve easy question in a first go try to solve easy question in a first go what will happen till the time you come to moderate or hard questions your brain will be activated your anxiety will be gone which is there while giving the exam right and while when you will solve easy questions you will get the confidence so first in first go what you should you should do you should solve easy question first okay then take a second round second round try to solve the moderate or the confusing questions right there will be uh, questions where you will feel that there are two answers in that phase you can solve moderate or the confusing questions when it comes to hard you can take it in third go okay and last one is we don't know the answer right don't know the answer don't know the answer what you can do at this mark one option right mark one option or at least try to rule out two options right better way is that at least if you will try to rule out two options by looking whether looking at the question or whether looking at the options if you are able to rule out rule it out so what will happen from this remaining two options probability of getting correct answers will be more so rule out and then answer for these questions there will be 10 15 questions where you don't know anything so that time you should try to rule out question from the option and at all you don't know anything there will be 5 10 questions where you will be not able to recognize the questions and option that time you should mark a only one option that will be very helpful while solving the paper right you can use this part mark for review if you are having any confusion and you don't want to answer that question you can use this option right beneath the uh, question there will be option called as mark for review okay mark for review and make sure at the end 150 questions are answered 150 questions are answered then only exit the exam okay you will have a timer over here you should keep eye on that also sometimes what happen you get lazy and you forgot that how much time you have so your focus should be on that as well and at the end you can look at over here that you have solved 150 question or some questions are remaining right here you can see not answered so you can clearly see that you have left one question two question or 10 question at least mark it okay there is no negative marking so please you should mark all the questions okay and please while solving the uh, question or right now while you are studying your notes do not get stuck 
डू नॉट गेट स्टक वॉट एपन्स यू आर प्रेजेंट इन द लाइब्ररी और इन द एग्जाम हॉल एंड युअर माइंड इज रोमिंग समवेर एल्स सो दैट टाइम लिव इट गो ऑन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन और गो ऑन द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वाइल स्टडी सो वॉट विल हैपन युअर ब्रेन अगेन रिस्टार्ट एंड इट विल वर्क एंड आफ्टर सम टाइम वेन यू विल कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन your brain will give the answer so do not get stuck while reading as well as while solving the questions right now also in the exam hall as well okay that will help you out last but not the least believe believe in yourself मैं आज एग्जाम पास करके ही आऊंगा राइट वेदर इट इज वेदर योर शॉर्ड इज शार्पन और नॉट यू हैव टू फाइट राइट यू हैव टू फाइट इन द बैटल फील्ड सो एवरी वन ट्राइज टू विन इट सो कीप दैट एटीट्यूड दैट बाय हुक और बाय क्रुक आई विल पास इट ओके आई विल पास इट and wish you all the very best prepare yourself okay do not get stuck while reading if you are feeling uncomfortable in any topic leave it okay leave it and move on the next page or next topic okay do not get stuck we need only 150 there is nothing called topper in fmg paper okay there is no ranking so it is passed and fail so we need 150 so now you should study smartly that will help you okay if you are getting stuck leave it move ahead move ahead that's it okay wishing you all the very best for your exam and see you soon on the other side all the very best